so this is the O3 form builder and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of creating a form. I'm going to click on this create a new form button, go to this interactive builder tab and then start building. So this is a basic patient assessment form. I'm going to provide a description for that. And then I'm going to add the one page called assessment details. Save that. You can see the form getting dynamically built out on the side here. Cool. So I am going to add a bunch of sections, a vital sign section, um, a reason for visit section, and also a consent to treat section. Cool. Uh, so we see the sections padded out. Uh, let's start fleshing these out by adding questions. So the first question is going to be about the temperature. And then it needs a unique ID. So I'll go with temperature in Celsius. And it's of type OBS. And this is a number field. So meter max values 35 and 40. That seems good. And then I'm going to search for a backing concept temperature in degrees Celsius. Hit save. And we have our first question. At any point, we can go to this form preview and see how the form looks as we build it out. So that's uh, looking good. I am going to add something for collecting the systolic blood pressure. It needs a unique ID. I'll use systolic BP. Thank you. OBS. And because this is a number field, I'll select number. I'm going to worry about these ones later. But for now, I'm going to say systolic blood pressure. Hit save. Cool. Uh, how about diastolic then? If I do this, I go to enter a unique ID. I uh, use disturb diastolic BP. Odds for this as well. It's a number field. And I will enter min and max values later. So hit save. How's this looking? Looking good so far. Cool. Uh, I think we also want to record the heart rate. So let's go for heart rate, unique ID. OBS field, and then this is a number as well. So, and the backing concept for this in the concept dictionary is called Pulse. Cool. Save. All right. That's taking shape nicely. So I am going to move on to this reason for visit section. And then I will add a question. Uh, please describe the reason for your visit today. Yes. Give it a unique ID, reason for visit. Uh, so the question type is OBS. And this is a free text field because we're going to be entering the user provided data. So I'll just choose other for this. Cool. All right. How's that looking? Going to here. Yep. Looks like we have a text, a text field. All right. So consent to treat for this one. We're just eliciting whether the patient gives their consent. Do you consent? Cool. And then this is called consent. True. Ops field. Yeah, it's a free text field as well. So we're going to use other for this. Yeah, there we go. Save. And already you can see that uh, our form is taking shape. We have a bunch of JSON code uh, written out on the side here, which is looking good. So I am just going to go to this preview tab. Yep, I can see that uh, my form's looking good. I can enter values in here. Sweet. Cool, there's a, a whole lot more that you can do here, including adding validation to, to your form. Um, you can validate these fields such that if, if a subsequent question, if a previous question is uh, provided, is answered with a certain value. You can hide uh, subsequent questions down below. Yeah, and a bunch more other things. So this is looking good. I am going to proceed to save my form. I see that uh, a bunch of details about my form have already been collected. So I am just going to say that this is for an adult visit. Hit save, and my form is saved. If I go back to the forms dashboard and open up my form, I can see that it opens in edit mode, which means I can, from this page, modify various aspects of the form. I can go back into this interactive builder tab and say, uh, maybe rename this field, uh, sorry, this section to say, and like so. 
and all the changes get propagated uh, to this preview tab, as you can see. So that's cool. At this point, uh, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my form. Uh, so the next step would be to publish this form so that I can make it available to my front end. When I hit this uh, publish form button, uh, all that does is it publishes a form. And, uh, this makes it so that if you go into uh, O3 and pull open the uh, clinical forms tab, you should be able to see this form from this UI. And here it is, AC patient assessment form. So that's pretty cool. That's a quick walkthrough of how you can use the O3 form builder to uh, build a clinical form.